Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a memory spread and I have this week, the week of April 27th through May 3rd and I have this kit from Creating & Co. It's called Bibliophile. It's really cute and it has some fun colors that are a little bit different from what I've been using lately. So I just thought it would be fun to mix it up and it has kind of a fun theme. I've been trying to read more it's a little hard because my mind is just like all over the place. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that, but I've been trying to be a little more intentional about it and I've been reading some nonfiction and some fiction and just kind of having fun with it. So this is the kit that I have and then this is the spread that I am basing this off of in my everyday planner. The plan with me is up if you would like to go check this out. I loved this spread. It's so like neutral and pretty. So I'm going to put this off to the side. And then of course I've got my notes in my dailies in my AC folio ready to go. And yeah, I think we're ready to get started. So let's jump right in. All right, so we're going to do the bottom washi first, of course. And this kit has two strips, which I really liked both of them, so I wanted to keep both. And I've just layered the blue one first and then the darker, like, reddish-brown one below that. And I didn't really need to white out a lot. Her paper is thick enough to cover everything. I just whited out that middle line so it didn't show through. And then I just got rid of the little hexagons. And then we're gonna choose some glitter headers. So I sped you up a lot for this part because it took me a minute, it actually took me many minutes to choose glitter headers for this particular kit. I keep a stash of leftovers, so I decided to go with these blue and kind of um, brownish glitter headers from an old Sadie Stickers kit from forever ago, and they happen to match perfectly, so I'm just alternating them since I didn't have a full set of each and I think it looks fine. And then I put down the weekend banner, which is really cute. It says this weekend is booked. And then for date covers, I'm just using the ones from the kit and I'm just using some old numbers. I'm trying to use up my stash. So these I just found and I'm popping them in there. Creating & Co. definitely has a specific style to her kits, which I think is really cool because hers are very different from other kits, and I think it's nice to mix it up. So moving on to the sidebar, I whited out the hexagon first, and then I put in the bibliophile quote box. I just thought that was really cute and kind of like representative of the whole week. And then I popped in the This Week header, and then this box at the bottom. And then this box here is for my favorite moment of the week, which I will come back to near the end. And then I'm just adding a little bit of deco to make it look cute. And then we're going to move on to Monday. So first thing on Monday is, and I'm going to mess this up, so we're going to switch out that label in a second, but I ordered my new memory planner because it was EC launch day for um, insiders, for Erin Condren insiders. So it was really fun to order because I got up super early. I wasn't really planning to, but I like couldn't sleep and then I was like, you know what, let me set an alarm for an hour from now and like, I'll do it. So I got my order in and it came like the next week, I think, or this week. No, it came this week. Yeah. Which is crazy fast. I mean, I live in Texas, so I mean, I'm like right by the warehouse. Not really. Texas is huge, but anyway, it came fast. And then below that, I put in that I started meal planning again and I think it will help me to get back on track. So this week I was kind of having a, a meeting with myself because I noted here on Tuesday morning that I weighed myself, which I don't weigh myself often. I just use it as a marker for health, not like I could get obsessive about it, which I have some like past um, problems with that. So I try not to weigh too often because I do become obsessive and then I will restrict or in the past I used to 
make myself throw up, which is terrible. And I'm glad that I have not done that in a long time. But um, I'm just noting here that I do want to make some changes because I mean, you can only use the excuse of like eating during quarantine for so long before it becomes a problem and it's become a problem. So I'm definitely making that shift during this week. And then I just pulled a Sweet Bean Plans sticker. Um, it's a goal sticker. So I'm just making note here that I simplified my May goals. I kind of just like cut them in half almost and I just took out some that are not uh, gonna happen and I made them much more realistic and attainable. So that was kind of hard, but you got to do what you got to do. And then on Wednesday here, I made a note here that I made or I bought my gifts for my mom's birthday and Mother's Day, which were coming up. They're both during the same week. So she was born on the 13th and Mother's Day this year, I think was on like the 10th or 11th. And then on Wednesday, I received a new teacher lesson planner, which I wasn't supposed to. It was like a mistake on EC's part. I was only supposed to get the cover, but I decided to do a giveaway with the planner because they said, after I said, can I do a giveaway with it? And they were like, sure. So I did that. And then I also had a Zoom with my friend Holly to just catch up with her and give her some advice for um how to use zoom because she was planning her son's signing day via zoom so it was fun we just sat around and talked for a little while i also noted here that i walked over 125 miles in march or er, april which is amazing i love that and then on the other side i'm just putting down some full boxes here that i wanted to be sure to use I do love the full boxes in this kit. The colors are kind of more fallish, but it doesn't bother me. I like the colors a lot. A little bit different. I like to mix it up. And then on Thursday here, I have my April haul that I forgot to put on Wednesday, but it went up on Wednesday. It doesn't matter. It's there. And then I have an updated picture of my, um, my paint by numbers, which I took off because I didn't have room for it. I did finish it by now. That I'm filming this voiceover. Um, and then on Thursday, I have a picture of my friend Brad falling asleep during our Zoom meeting. And it was funny. We stayed on. I don't know if he's froze. We don't know what exactly what happened, but it looked like he fell asleep and it made us laugh a lot. And then below that, I have my a screenshot of my perfect month closing all of my Apple Watch rings. I was so excited. I'm on track to do the same for May. So there are some victories happening health-wise. We just got to fix the other ones. And then on Friday here, I have a half box with um, a little beer sticker from Crafty Banana to mark that I spent another night on my friend Kat and Sean's lawn, just talking with them, laughing, catching up. And I have a funny um, quote sticker or quote above that that says, once this is all over with, I'm hugging everybody. Get ready for long, awkward hugs. I'm going to make it weird because that's how I feel. I haven't actually hugged anyone in a long, long time. So, yeah. And then on Saturday, I noted here with the little um, prescription bottle that my back hurt this weekend, or all weekend, and I think I overdid it. I was working a lot in my yard, and I was like hauling some rocks and some dirt, and it was a little much. And then my giveaway went to a first year teacher, which I was really happy about her. Um, I choose those randomly, but I went and read her submission like to the question that I posted and it was really cute. So she talked about how, you know, first years are always hard, but this one was like something she couldn't prepare for. And I'm really glad it went to her. And then at the bottom here, I'm just noting, um, I have a picture of my Torchy's Tacos bag, and that's what I ate for dinner on Saturday night. I've been trying to eat local and order local, and then either get delivery or go pick up, and Torchy's was on the list that night, and I had some yummy tacos. And then on Sunday, I have a little screenshot of Never Have I Ever from 
Netflix. I binged the whole series. Obviously, that's what I do. It was so cute, and I think I need to watch it again. It was just adorable. I love Mindy Kaling, but like this show in particular, so cute. I'm rewatching The Mindy Project right now, too. I'm just like a big fan of hers. And then below that, I'm just going to put in a half box and note that just taking it easy this weekend and just kind of um, recharging a little bit. And then I have Icklin and Doyle quote below that. You are not a mess. You are a deeply feeling person in a messy world. And then in my journaling section, I just am noting here more ups and downs this week, which is all I'm looking for right now. I felt more motivated and able to focus on my health. So I'm trying to stay realistic and focused. And then my favorite moment of the week was definitely all of the planner stuff going on this week with the release of the new Erin Condren planners and my giveaway. It was just a lot of fun planner things, which is a good distraction during this time, I think. So here is my finished spread. It turned out really, really cute. This feels very heavy over here, but I still like it a lot. And I'm just glad that I have feel like I've finally kind of turned a corner throughout this whole thing. This is um, week seven of being at home um, under the stay-at-home order, so um, which it's kind of starting to lift, but I'm not, I'm not doing that yet. Um, but this is the week that I kind of feel like I made some progress. So I feel like it's uphill from here, but in a good way. So yeah, I... I'm looking back at this and seeing lots of good things, which is always a good thing. So I hope that you enjoyed this memory plane with me. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!